Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Uh, today we're going to be looking at another one of the sorcerer spells. Uh, this one is Ice Blast. Uh, Ice Blast is the middle of the line as far as the sorceress cold spills spells go. And uh, it does have its own specific benefits, and as we go over it I'm sure you'll discover that with me. Um, now, if we talk about it in retrospect to the other abilities surrounding it, um, Ice Bolt is the low mana cost option. Um, Glacial Spike is the AoE option that comes with a 2.6 yard radial effect, and it does more damage than Ice Blast in groups, but less damage than Ice Blast single target. Um, Ice Blast has a very nice freezing effect on it, and when you use it on monsters, uh, you will notice that they will stay frozen for a pretty long period of time. Uh, especially in normal difficulty, where you're going to find that, just in general, uh, they stay frozen basically forever, uh, because there's no penalties in normal difficulty. Uh, however, when you get to hell difficulty and you try and freeze a target, um, you will notice that they're uh, it's a lot shorter than it otherwise normally would be. Uh, like, for instance, right now my freeze length is 5.2 uh, seconds on Ice Blast, and if I hit a target with it right now, uh, the monster will stay frozen for probably about, like, what is that, like a second and a half? Like, not even really that long at all. Um, and, of course, that's just simply because there's such a huge penalty in Hell Difficulty. Now, um, when you beef up Ice Blast, however, you will notice that the cold duration, or the freeze length duration, actually does go up quite a bit, and Glacial Spike will actually bring it up even more to the point where it gets up to 27 seconds, and even in Hell Difficulty, um, you will notice that the uh, freeze duration, even at it, with its penalty, can still last for an exceedingly long period of time, uh, because 27 seconds uh, divided by, what is it, uh, I think it's, um, ooh, ouch, ouch, I mean, uh, reduced in, into 33% of its effectiveness is still going to last a really long time when it lasts for 27 seconds total. So, you know, it, it's it's a pretty effective ability. Now, if you kill a monster who is frozen, uh, they will immediately shatter. Uh, however, if they unfreeze before they die, they're not going to shatter. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting effect with Ice Blast and sometimes considered a negative effect if you are the kind of character who wants to farm corpses. Um, now, in terms of damage, uh, Ice Blast definitely is the better of the lot. Um, if we were to beef up all three of them, for instance, and, uh, of course, put our points into Cold Mastery, and uh, also maybe even throw points into Blizzard to maybe beef that up as well, um, you will notice that um, Glacial Spike has about 1,242 damage, uh, Ice Blast is 2,465, and Ice Bolt is only 1,015. So the highest damage ability is definitely Ice Blast, um, as far as single target damage goes. It's also by far the strongest in terms of its freeze length uh, at 27 seconds, compared to Glacial Spike's uh, rather meager 8.9. And uh, of course that's beefed up with, uh, with using Blizzard, which beefs up the, the duration of Glacial Spike. And Glacial Spike beefs up the duration of Ice Blast. It's all an interconnected web of abilities here. Now, of course, with the uh, brand new Sunder Charms, which are coming in patch 2.5, uh, Cold Mastery is going to have an even better effect than it ever really did before, and um, is definitely going to beef up the damage of skills like Ice Blast, uh, Glacial Spike, and Ice Bolt. Um, in fact, the entire Ice Tree. Uh, the problem with Ice Blast is it is very much so single target damage. And while it does excel exceedingly well when attacking a boss or a super unique or something specific that is by itself, it doesn't really excel so much in terms of, you know, like multi-target farming. Um, in fact, in any scenario that matters, uh, you're going to find yourself probably leaning more toward Glacial Spike uh, because Glacial Spike will hit multiple targets at the same time. Uh, so what your goal is, of course, with Glacial Spike is to get them all grouped up in a nice little line and uh, and hit them all together so that you're freezing multiple targets and you're doing huge amounts of damage to those targets. However, if you do have just the one target, Ice Blast is definitely going to be the superior option uh, for those specific targets. Now, granted, of course, anytime you come across cold immunes, uh, you're definitely still going to have issues. Um... Poor mercenary died. Now, uh, Ice Blast does have a lot of synergies, and uh, and there definitely are a lot of 
skills that synergize with Ice Blast. And uh, if you want to beef up those specific abilities, you're going to have to put points into Ice Blast anyway. Uh, Blizzard gets a 5% cold damage per level from Ice Blast. Uh, we also get Glacial Spike gets a 5% bonus damage from Ice Blast. Um, even Ice Bolt gets a bonus from Ice Blast. Um, it, just in general, uh, you know, across the tree, you're definitely going to have a lot of abilities that you may be interested in building, and you're going to have to end up putting points into Ice Blast anyway. Um, I probably wouldn't use Ice Blast myself as a main damage ability, um, specifically because I actually really prefer Glacial Spike. Uh, but the mana cost on Ice Blast and Glacial Spike is kind of insane at uh, 21 and 25 mana per cast, especially if you're running some really nice high faster cast equipment. Whereas Blizzard's 53 isn't so bad because it has a casting delay, so you can't really like spam it the same way you can Ice Blast and Glacial Spike. And same thing goes for Frozen Orb. You can't really spam it like you would the other two. Um, and that's really where things get very interesting is if you are a Frozen Orb or a Blizzard Sorceress, um, a lot of the times what you're going to be doing is you're going to be casting your Blizzard and then firing a couple abilities off. Casting, firing, casting, firing, casting, firing. Um, because there is a delay in between, you know, utilizing your Blizzard and utilizing, you know, something else. So you're going to want to, to swap cast, essentially. You're going to want to cast one ability and then fire off a couple. Cast and then fire off a couple. Um, and uh, Ice Blast can definitely be a good choice because it's a very high damage ability that freezes the targets. Uh, it makes them move a little bit slower, which obviously is going to be a boon to you because you're a weak little sorceress that can't take a hit. And... Um, you know, just simply getting them uh, kind of away from you in general. And um, I have noticed, honestly, that Glacial Spike can be extremely good in groups, and Ice Blast can be extremely good uh, for those single-target damage moments. Like, for instance, if I was fighting Diablo, or if I was fighting Bale, um, I wouldn't use Glacial Spike, because Glacial Spike is the inferior damage option. I would be using Ice Blast, because Ice Blast does a lot more single-target damage, um, and I can weave that in between my blizzards. So I would fire my blizzards off, and then I would shoot off several Ice Blasts at Bale, um, and every single time my Blizzard ability comes back up, of course, I'm going to recast Blizzard and then continue firing more Ice Blast. So it's going to be a combination of firing both abilities at the same time as much as possible to get my maximum damage benefit off. Um, and a lot of the Sorceress looks that way. Uh, there are a lot of things involving the Sorceress that just, just kind of revolve around like, hey, while this skill is on, you know, cooldown, or, or, you know, I can't cast this ability again, well, let me fire something else in the meantime so that I can get maximum benefit out of my abilities. And Ice Blast is definitely one of those abilities that comes in handy in certain situations. Um, you know, whether you want to freeze a single target for a very long period of time, whether you need to do a relatively high amount of single target damage in between your other bigger effects, even if it's Frozen Orb. Frozen Orb can also be used in that way. And uh, not a point to put in it, but uh, it, it also has a one second casting delay. And in that time frame, you can usually get off two to three uh, Ice Blasts in between your Frozen Orbs. Um, so it's, a, it's a definitely a good ability and can come in handy on the Sorceress. Um, I think that it's a little bit too high of a mana cost early on in the game, though. This is one of the big issues with Ice Blast, is it just has a, a massive mana cost early on. And uh, for a starting Sorceress with a relatively low mana pool, you may have issues actually casting Ice Blast enough to, uh, you know, actually dish out the damage that you would like. Uh, however, in early levels, if you get high enough plus the skills, a very nice Ice Blast staff and some other things, uh, you can pretty much one-shot most monsters you come across. And although you might not have the mana to maintain a continuous fire rate, if you're one-shotting everything you come across, it mm, could work out anyway. Um, and you always have Ice Bolt to fall back on, uh, which is a little low-level um, level, th oh, sorry, mana cost three ability, um, and it never goes up. By the way, uh, we recently covered that in the last video, and uh, that is one of Ice Bolt's main strengths. Is just it never goes up in mana cost. So you know, while you're maybe you know spamming your Ice Blast and you start running out of mana, you know, you could maybe switch back to Ice Bolt for a little while while your mana regenerates. Uh, it's kind of a an either or situation. Um, and I never really find that any of these three is the best to use, like, verbatim. Like, you just you, you can't just pick one of these and use them over all the others, because none of them 
have a like an end all be all use case scenario. Um, you know, the ice bolt is specifically when you're running out of mana. The ice blast is for those single targets. The glacial spike is definitely for the groups, and uh, and glacial spike works way better for groups than ice blast. And ice blast works way better for single target than glacial spike, and ice bolt works way better to save mana than the other two. It's uh, it's just a fun little triad there. Um. There's really not a lot more to go over with Ice Blast. Um, Ice Blast is just one of those abilities that uh, that kind of speaks for itself. Very high single target damage, freezes targets, and uh, and is definitely a very high mana cost. Um, it is definitely an intermediary skill, and I think most characters are not building their character specifically around Ice Blast. Like I don't think a lot of people really say, I'm going to build an Ice Blast Sorceress. They usually say, I'm going to build a Blizzard Sorceress, or a Frozen Orb Sorceress, or maybe they say, I'm going to build a Glacial Spike Sorceress. Uh, but Ice Blast never te- seems to be like the main thing. And I think it's just because it's so... It's very so single target, and uh, and although single target damage can be amazing, like for instance if you're one-shotting everything, uh, you still have to run around and hit every single monster. Um, and if there's 100 monsters on the field, that's 100 times you have to click, and it does get a little exhausting, uh, which is why AoE abilities like Blizzard and Frozen Orb and Glacial Spike uh, tend to get a little bit more love than the single target abilities like Ice Blast and Ice Bolt. All in all, I think that's pretty much all that needs to be said about this ability. Uh, if you have any questions specifically about this ability, uh, let me know. Uh, this I- ability actually is on a couple pieces of equipment, by the way. Um, most notably, I believe the Hawanans set actually has it on it. And um, I actually forgot about this. I usually like to go over this with uh, with the items and talk about like the various items that this effect is on for usefulness so not even just like a sorceress um but you know other I- other characters that might want to get good use out of this item um however as far as i know uh the only item i believe is hawanan's bill uh which is not even really that high i want to say it's hawanan's bill uh, there could be a couple other ones. I don't. I don't know specifically. Yes, Hawanan's bill has level three at ten percent. Cold Kill Hatchet has level ten at ten percent, and Voice of Reason has level twenty at eight level uh, at eighteen percent chance. Uh, and of course, this is going to come in handy because if you're a non sorceress and you're trying to get the freeze effect, um, like for instance, if you're using Voice of Reason and you got level twenty Ice Blast going off on a regular basis, it's going to have a pretty high chill uh, freeze duration, and it's going to be freezing targets all the time. It may not necessarily do a high amount of cold damage. But it is going to have that really nice freezing effect, uh, and you know maybe even a negative effect as far as far as freezing is concerned, because it might be shattering your precious precious corpses. So to keep that in mind as you're looking at items that have the ice blast ability on them. Uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals blasting into my YouTube videos, and uh, as always, keep it nice and frosty.